going, Sarah? We're gonna go macro fishing. And maybe catch a shark at the end if we're lucky. Oh, we're definitely gonna catch a shark. I hope so. Welcome to another episode. We're leaving to go macro fishing, like Sarah said. We're running into the bay there towards the Gulf of Mexico. This is probably the last chance we get to film a fishing show for a few weeks. We'll be at the boat show, which this will probably come out after the boat show. But uh, that'll be in Miami, so hopefully we'll see some of you guys there, or hopefully we saw some of you guys there. We got all little rods here ready. Got a kite just in case. Got a shark rod in the middle right there. We'll see you guys back there. So Frank's here, Sarah's here, Dawson's here, and Andrew's here. And I'm here too, so enjoy the ride. Frank the Tank! Frank the Tank's back for the free food, baby. Dude, I'm just looking for free sandwiches, that's all. <laughs> yeah. I'll even go macro fishing for a free sandwich. Dawson, we're going to fish anything? I hope so. Andrew, don't Mac fall in today. Mackerel day, I'm staying on the deck. There you go. No swimming. Hang on tight, Sarah's driving. Nowhere. We're a on long a ride back. We're on a bank. We're not in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're past the bank. Oh, we are? We are in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. All right, get the chum ready. Now we're on. The Rodan's going in momentarily. Dawson's getting the chum ready. We're going to try to chum these mackerels up. These are Spanish mackerel. You know, here, usually all winter long. It was a long ride back here, you know, 45 minutes, almost an hour. But we're here now. Sun's coming up, Seagull found us. We're gonna start chomming and we're gonna have a few rods rigged up, so. These have been some of our new rods we've been having a lot of fun with. Our little mini rods here. Got the pen authority on there. And if you don't want to, you know, the authority's super nice, but there's other reels too that are good. You don't want to drop quite as much money. The spin fisher's really good. These are one of my other favorites, so. We'll have fun with those. We've got some longer rods back there. And the longer rods way better for casting. You can obviously cast them further. But let's get anchored up here, get the chum working, and hopefully the next hour we'll get some mackerels uh, coming up in the chumps that catch them and have some fun. The Rodan's in. That's nice, we we'll have to use an anchor, huh? Yeah. All righty, spot lock us here. We're spot locked now. About nine feet of water below the boat. We're gonna get rigged up here. Got him out. Camera, I got it. It's already rolling. Oh, the camera's rolling? All right, so Andrew, we've just been sitting here chumming for about 20 minutes. They finally found us the mackerels. Two mackerel followed him up. I threw out the uh, little lure and I got one on here. We're gonna, we got live shrimp too, but we're gonna do a lot of artificials today. I wanna keep some mackerel to eat. Show them to me. And this is the old Spanish mackerel right here, you guys. We want zero mackerel. Zeros are better eating, but We've smoked Spanish a lot. We know it's good smoked. You know, we've had some popular videos of those before, but Frank said he fried some before, and Dawson said if you soak it in milk overnight, a lot of oil comes out of the meat, and it's actually really good. So we're gonna try eating them there, but this is a Spanish mackerel. That's the target species. And uh, let's get rolling on them here. Let's start catching some more. What have I've you caught, here, Dawson? I've been here five minutes. I've already been demoted to bait duty. <laughs> now these things got teeth, dude. Like, they will Good job, Andrew. Oh, so I'm throwing this lure out there. Oh my god. He almost, he almost, he almost took almost my glasses of off. So we're just winding chicken. Andrew got one on the jig. I got one on this little swimming plug lure thing, whatever it is. Dawson caught a few pinfish too there. They're just finding us. And mackerels, they, they pull good, you guys. Fun, fun fish on light tackle. They like the white one, man. Oh, got him on, dog. Go get him, Andrew. Oh, you got a pair of shorts, Andrew. Oh. My buddy wanted to get some stands gear, so he went to the marina yesterday, and I just figured I'd just get them. Oh, he bought a pair. I got two pairs. Why did I give you the family right now? I have to give you a third pair to make up for it. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Good job Sassine. Good job, that's, Andrew. That's crab bait. Andrew. You got yours, Franker? Oh, yeah. Come on up here. Frank the tank, baby. Don't lose them. Now we're getting into them. Oh, these 
Can I ever see it? Maybe you can swallow it. You swallow that one. Yeah, you do. Sarah, I'll get it out for you. Ooh, got a little gill plate there. A little gill plate action. That's awesome. Sarah. Alright. This boat's going to the boat show in four days. I gotta clean it. You guys are making it dirty. Can you chase the Franker? Oh, oh got one on. Oh! Little feller. Perfect. Oh, he got his eyeball, actually. Oh, oh. oh got him looking. I see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Franker got him on. Dawson, what do you got? Oh, I was going for snapper. What real is that? Is that a pen battle? Nice. Oh, Martin. A little mutton snapper. You let him go. Yeah, I like the handle on this one. That's nice. I'm getting old. Oh, man, they pull so good, man. This is so, it's fun. You know, you throw out and a few jigs and you get some really nice fish. Sassy Sarah. Frank the Tank, 15 or to 20 years ago, you were back here doing this as a guide, weren't you? Yeah, that was my go-to thing, man. All of January and February, stress-free family fishing. Unless you're family. Unless you're family. And I learned <laughs> yeah. it from the best, that man. That was his slogan. You got him again? Another one. Yeah. Load him up. Ooh, that's a better one. Oh, yeah, we take it. We're in them now, guys. Just so everybody knows, Nick sees the fish, he'll mug you. He is definitely not well, above it. He's chasing me up right on now, top guys. Of he chased me up twice. He boiled on it. I don't know if you could see him boiling on it. But he didn't get hooked. All right. We're gonna... up, up, there he is. Got him on that time. Coming at me quick. Look at him racing. Look at him racing. One followed him up. That's a nice Spanish right there. We're going to eat some of these. We're going to eat some of these for bait. We're going to freeze some. But that's uh, the target species. Spanish mackerel, they average two to four pounds. Anything over four pounds is big. That one there is enough to two, two, two and a half pounds. So we'll take them. Oh, Nicholas. Dawson, that's a baby grouper. That is a baby grouper. Out of season, Look at the colors on him, though. Yeah, nice. Pretty. A little red grouper, you guys. Pretty fish. Catch him. Oh, a lot bigger. Go on, buddy. You gonna catch a mango snapper? Yeah. All right, so we got some mac on the box. Now we're trying to catch some snappers for dinner as well. We moved uh, spots a little bit. That looks good to me. Let's see what happens there. Franker, come on, a couple more mackerels. Sarah, put it down there. She, there's a snapper. Jeez. Borderline, I gotta be 10 inches, Borderline. but I think you should let him go. Okay. But he's not too far off. 15 inches old plus. Mm, maybe 12. Monsters. Yeah, we only want three pounds. I satisfy myself with four. Oh, get him, Dawson. Dawson, get that fish out of the rock. Or out of the bottom, I reason. Is it another grouper? We caught the same one. It's the same one. <laughs> Dawson, stop catching it's the same It's a little grouper. bigger. It is a little bigger. All right, we need some bigger ones. Come on, Dawson, Look get a big the, one. You can see that one down there. He's, we'll catch him. 15 inches. Because it's not just as easy as say, oh, I gotta catch him. Like shooting fish in a barrel, right? <laughs> Throw it in there and catch one. It is eight and a half feet of water underneath the boat here. The Rodan's holding us in there. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna throw it in. I think it'll work. <laughs> Something will eat that. <laughs> That's what you call talent here. What you got, dog? A snapper on the jig. Dude, when I can catch the snapper on the jig, 
that means you are a... Put your finger in there, let him bite you. No way! He's a snake. Oh, what did Dawson get? That's a big one there, Dawson. That's a dinner fish there. That's a dinner fish there, Dawson. Dawson, that could be Sadie's dinner. Or Claire's. You could be part of the family if you catch that fish. <laughs> Extended family. Ah, oh, he's got me in the rocks. Pull him out. Jump down there and get him. Dawson, you oh. lost that thing? I'm gonna give him the, the, the slack that treatment. That was a good one. That was a good one. Why'd you let him get in the bottom? Why'd you let the boat swing that way? You should have pulled harder. I was pulling that pretty was good. A good fish. That was a really good fish. Probably another little bigger grouper. No, that was a macro. He's you think? He's moving really fast compared to those little groupers. He's right down there in the bottom, that little rock. You got a mask, I can get him. You have to go in with no mask. My contacts will fall out. Okay, then don't do that. Alright, Dawson just lost the trophy dinner fish. There he goes. Swimming by. <laughs> Holy that's crap. funny, he went in that little rock there. There's a couple little rocks here, you can see it right there on the sonar. Well, I, that's, he like charged at the boat and I was like, oh, he's got him. But then I forgot I got a 20 foot leader out here. Dawson, that was actually a good fish. Wah, wah, wah. I call it the biggest thing in the world. Not part of the family, Dawson. Yep, you're out of the family. <laughs> that's probably a keeper if you want to eat some for dinner. Yeah, that's measure. Put the measuring device back. Stewie. I lost the good one. I lost the biggest one. Oh, Andrew just got a blue runner. There's a good light. Stewie! Oh my god. That was a keeper. So they only have to be 10 inches back here. In federal waters is 12 and state waters is 10. So let's see. He's good. So not big, he's about 11 inches there. He'll eat. He'll eat though. We're gonna keep a handful of these for dinner and fry them on up or something. The kids love them. I love them. Sarah loves them too. I love them too, actually. <laughs> Stewie. <laughs> no, it's a grouper. Oh, grouper. Grouper in the bay side here. See how like he didn't take any line there where the other one took all the line? Yeah. That was a big name, bro. Good job, Bassmaster Stewie. Look at the barely hooked. Lost bite. What happened? Something ate it. You got a bite? Apparently, but it came off. Oh, that's it, no, that's the fish I lost. No. That's, look, there's my hook in it. Well, then your other hook would be in them. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so this was the one he lost, Crowley, because there's his hook and another bait. All right, the other one was definitely a big mangrove. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. So there's his hook and that bait there. This is the bait I lost. You got the BKK hook back. I did. Good job. So that's the one he lost, and that's there. Only a red grouper would do that and bite again that quick. That's a good snapper there. Swing him right on in there. Nice, Andrew. Mango. We'll take him. I'll grab him. Can you work the jig out of him? Yep. Perfect. Franger, what you got, dog? Another snap, man. Is nice. it a keeper? We got fry some up. Oh, yeah. Well, we let him go. Yeah, we'll let him go. No, keep up. No, we'll let him go. Bye bye, buddy. Yeah, I see why I call him Snapper. <laughs> and he pooped on us. Oh, jeez. There's a good one. Yeah, that one is good. Stewie, fish box. <laughs> Get the bait. <laughs> you caught like 10 fish on that bait. Ooh, big one. I think I got a nice mackerel here. Sarah has not caught a mackerel yet. Dolphin, Dawson is stuffing his face with <laughs> banana chocolate chip muffins, courtesy of Stacy. We just moved spots because we got a few snappers we kept for dinner. But we wanted to move out here. Water looks a little better for mackerel. Finally got him on here. We got enough in there if you want to cook up the spots. 
Catch, you know, eight or ten more. Let's see what happens here. This one might be foul hooked. I don't think it's too much foul hooked. Oh, he is snagged. It's a nice one, though. But he is foul hooked. So he feels twice as big. Oh, yeah. We just need him to stay on for another second or two. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good one there. There, we'll take them. So if you ever get down here to the Keys, put this on the list to do. God, oh boy. Spanish. Think we can get a bite on video? I hope so, keep it on for a minute, let's see. Got him on as soon as it hit the water. Oh yeah. All right, I just changed rods. Oh yeah. Is the camera rolling? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Well, Frank gave you the wrong color jig. No, jig. I now have Frank, Frank's rod, which I'll probably catch one caught a fish I in a put long down time. the stands little short rod with that white turtle. Okay, so the longer rods pass further, you guys. So if you want distance, right here, there's macros following mine. If you want distance, you want to use the longer rod, but we're in business now. That's good fish. Andrew coming your way. All right, this is how we want to find them. So caught them good early. The first hour, the first 20 minutes, we caught like 15 of them. Then it got quiet for an hour. We went to another spot, didn't get them. Thank you. And we moved out of here. Just put it in, waited 10 minutes, the chum was working. And whammy, Frank was just cast, I just cast him. Let's see if we get one more on camera. Is that a bite? <laughs> Did you see that? I just got woofed, man. Oh my gosh, that was terrible, man. Oh, he's too big! Oh. 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 Sportsman <laughs> Dog! Ah, oh, I just had a good bite. Ah, oh, look at him back there chasing it. Got him that time. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice Spanish there. That's actually a good Spanish there. Got that on video for you. Good, he's shaking his head. That is a nice one. That's a good one. That's the biggest one yet. Be probably close to four pounds. Ooh, don't get got. <laughs> Let me see. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this is Franker style right here. <laughs> here, we use them for bait. Sarah, I thought you said they weren't biting this thing. Is that the white one? That is the little white one. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, let me get some that salami, Frank the Tank. Just spin a piece of it. Yeah, dog. What are we doing? Um, so we got the kite going out here. I'm gonna show you our bait in one second, but we're gonna try to catch like a shark or something like that. Franker just caught this macro right here. And Here's our, our bait. That's our live bait going out right there. So that's the bait live on there. See if a big old shark eats them. We're just gonna give us a little while longer. We're going home in about within the hour. So here we go. Deploying the kite. You can see it going up out there. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, I think I spotted a Chinese spy balloon. Oh no, it's a Stan's kite. Yeah, that's what it was. 
What do you think, yeah. Nicholas? I think the bait's set there. You can see the cork, that's our indicator out there, and we're ready. We're fishing. It's not even pulling drag. Oh, you got a snapper? I don't think it's a mackerel. <laughs> oh, maybe it is. It is a mackerel. Is it? This could be your first one. I got one. He's a baby. It is all right. He'll eat. Or use it for bait. That might be sword bait next month. Okay. I got one. Oh, my God. The kite's still up, you guys. Andrew's working on the kite rod, keeping the bait right on the surface. You can see our little sight indicator out there, little pink bobber, live macro underneath it. And the kite is up there in the air, keeping our bait right on top. Okay, show me that fish box. There's a lot of mackerel. We're gonna ice these down better now, you guys, but we did good. We put the mackerel, the smack down on the mackerels. Let's ice them down better. This boat has to go to the, to the boat show in four days. And it's a mess. Look at this. Look at that, it's disgusting. We weren't supposed to go fishing again. No, like, but we did. everything off the boat. Look, video that. Ah! Oh my God, look at all the blood and guts. It's awful. Have to clean it up. There's our catch. Good job, guys. So we caught right around 30 mackerel. So it turned out being a pretty decent day. Almost lunchtime now, so we're gonna head home soon. Dawson's burying the fish in the ice a little bit better. They were all cold earlier, but you know, you really want to pack them well. And we did catch a couple uh, cereal mackerel. So that's a Spanish mackerel there, but this is a cereal mackerel. And they're not much, they gotta be 12 inches, they're probably 13 or 14. But these are really good sashimi as well. But they have the yellow line right there, the solid line down the center, where the Spanish only have the dots. So that's the difference there. But he's getting them professionally iced in the brine. A couple mangrove snappers in there too. We thought we'd get a shark on the kite, but no shark on the kite. At least we did it, man. Yeah, I'm glad we put out there and tried it. That's right. I only caught one of those 30. Oh, he's on you. Ah, uh, that's something else. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> the camera was rolling on that one. He's tiny. That'd be good bait. I'll freeze them for sword bait. March will be here before you know it. Another zero. Here you go. Another zero mackerel. Dawson, we got one more. Is this so that's a, the zero. A short handled brush? It slides. No. That's for me, Dawson. Yeah, no, it's a solid The brush. extension is gone? I made it short. Forever? Yes, it fits in the hatches. You gotta be a freaking midget for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bring our kite in, you guys. We're wrapping it up. Stewie. All righty. In comes the kite, it was worth a shot, guys. I'm gonna spike it right on that rod. You better not, Beanie. Keep coming on it. Don't drop it, it's gonna lose its wind. Okay, okay. Good job, Stewie. Thank you. Alrighty. Here, Andrew, going away. Leader, I'll leader him in for you. It was worth a shot. And he's still Obviously, alive, so we can ice him down, man. We're gonna eat him up. Yeah. It was worth a shot. It was a nice bait. Dude, I'm swimming. I'm swimming for the ice. This is where I'm going. We swim right on in there. Perfect. How slimy are your gloves? You took them off. Huh? I, you, I had to take my gloves off. The mackerel, man, these things are nasty. They're nasty. <laughs> Stewie, good job. Thank you. Spanish mackerel, you guys, we're gonna flay them up. Cleaned up a bunch of them already, got a bunch of flays in the bucket. John stopped by with Barb. Frank's telling fish stories. Oh, I, don't, I don't know who has more oh, stories, John oh. or Frank. These we're both, gonna have to drink and figure this one out one of these Both of these guys can talk. Now. Both of these guys Barb's can talk, talking. so. Anyhow, we got a bunch of flays in here already, though. Leaving the skin on them. Mackerel is super easy to clean. Very soft fillets, but just avoiding the ribcage. Starting up high there, all the way down to his anal fin there. You can kind of get them like in one shot. So just keeping the knife flat against his backbone, pulling up like that, and this comes up just like that. 
will knock out any little bit of extra ribcage. And there's still some bones here in the center. Um, if we smoke it, we'll leave them in there. If we want it, we may bake it and broil this. I've never had it that way, but Frank's is pretty good. We may, we'll cut it out then at home if we do that. But this is what we're doing, flaying them like that. I'll show you this side real quick. And uh, we saved all the carcasses for crab bait, except this one carcass because the bucket already went to the freezer, but we still got the lobster and the bait pin over there. So Pinchy's in there. So we're gonna feed Pinchy the carcass because I haven't fed him in a few days and I guarantee you he's hungry. It might be more like a week. So there we go. So we're just gonna, he's got a little bit of bone there because they're soft, so the knife got right through there, but that's off like that. This is going the brine bucket, salt water, nice. Let's go feed the lobster this real quick. Pinchy, Pinchy. It's kind of dirty and we got the cage all zip tacks at nighttime, these critters get active. And he tries to escape. Kind of crawl out. I don't see him right now. But I'm sure he's in there. He'll get it. We're going to put it in there all the way. We'll see you guys back at home. Fun day, though. Lots of mackerel. Fresh Spanish mackerel, the mango snappers in the refrigerator, the cereal mackerels in the refrigerator. We're gonna do something different. I've only ever had Spanish mackerel smoked. I've never eaten it, or you bake it, you know, or just grill it like that, but we're gonna bake it. I got a brand new knife here, courtesy of John, so thank you. Limited edition, Rapid River 2022. But anyhow, we're just gonna cut the bones out of the center of the fillets here. Cause I already took the rib cage out when I filleted it. Then we'll have six pieces here. And we're gonna soak it in a what are we gonna put it in? Garlic Parmesan dressing. So this has the bones in the bloodline. We're gonna get rid of that. And then we'll have these pieces here like this with the skin on it. Then to marinate it, we're gonna try some Sweet Baby Ray's garlic Parmesan seasoning. Sauce to marinate, I guess. Put it in the Ziploc here. Let it soak for a couple hours in there. And then uh, we're gonna bake in the oven tonight. And we're gonna cook the other stuff too. And I'm curious to try this out because Sarah's never tried it either. And I have had a few people tell me it's actually pretty good sashimi, but we have the two cereal macro we caught. We know that's really good sashimi, so we'll definitely eat that. I'm but, eating the cereal mackerel and the mango snapper. You can have that. Okay, so it sounds like it's okay. me and the kids eating this. Maybe Dakota. Nick was throwing back keeper mango snappers. We did let go of some mango snappers that were keepers. So we could eat this instead. Well, we were hoping to get some bigger ones, and then we ran out of time, and we didn't get any <laughs> bigger ones, so. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, they say. But anyhow, let's get this in here. Let's try this. We'll Everyone's going to try it, yeah. All the bones are out, skin's on it. We're going to get it in here. We're going to start marinating it, letting it soak. We're going to put it back in the fridge for a couple hours. And then we're going to bake it later on. Dawson said he put his in milk or something? Yeah, Dawson told us that he puts his in milk and lets it sit overnight and the oil comes to the top. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to try this because we're going with what Frank recommended. Oh God! <laughs> no, they said it's good. So. Would you rather listen to Dawson or Frank? Is Neither. there a Plan C? <laughs> yeah. Forget Plan B. Where's Charlie? C. We need Charlie. Charlie could cook it up. He could chef it up, or Mike here. could. Mike could chef it up. But all right, so we're gonna get the air out of here. That's soaking in there. This is gonna be good. We're just gonna try something different. You know, we don't know. Garlic parm, Spanish mackerel coming up. We're also gonna cook the mango snap and the eat the cereal mackerel raw. So. Putting that in the fridge, we'll see you guys back in a couple hours. Cereal mackerel sashimi, absolutely delicious. Franker, what else we put on here? Uh, we got the Spanish mackerel, skin on, marinated it, the little panko on the top. Panko on top. 375, 12 minutes, then we're gonna bang the broil, and brown it at the top, be the best stuff you ever had. <laughs> yeah. Little mangrove snapper, lightly pan fried right there. Just go in the oven. How long do you think, 10 minutes? 12 minutes of this and then a broil oh, for no, two. No, perfect. Yep. All righty, we'll check back. Got a big fat ribeye on the Traeger. Oops. Hot stuff. Zero macro. Don't dip it in the green. <laughs> if you want spicy, try the green. If you don't want green. spicy, don't try it. Zero macro. Almost as good as Wahoo. We think. You know what you think? It is really good sushi. Yeah, it's really good. You good? Mm -hmm. Approved? Yeah. 
kind of tastes like Wahoo a little it bit. It does, like the texture too, and it looks similar. So Ciro Mac, if you guys ever get some, definitely try the sashimi and all that good stuff. I love Ciro. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Steak is gone, mango snapper is gone. We hit broil on here, so about 12 minutes at 375. Broil for two minutes, that looks good. Woo, look at that. Don't you think it's gonna be good, Franker? Dude. Sarah's afraid to even try it. I'll try it. This stuff will make your tongue smack the roof of your mouth, boy. Good. <laughs> you want some different fish? All right, so Sarah's pulling the meat off the skin there. And it's so the skin working stayed perfect because the skin's sticking to the foil. This one's for Sadie. She wanted a big piece. Oh. Okay, it's really Sadie hot. Okay? It's hot. Here, you want to take this one little piece and blow on it? Blow. Keep blowing. <laughs> you going to try it? Okay, it's good. Let's see what Sadie thinks of it. <laughs> you can't tell if it's yummy yet. Is it good? Bye. You want more? She's, like it it she's leaving. All right. Oh, my bite. Here comes Claire. Hopped. Claire Burr saw Sadie get a bite. She needs a oh. bite now. See what she thinks. I can't see. See if she approves. Is it good? Do you like it, Claire? Do you want more? Oh, Sarah's going to try it now, too. Okay, it is good. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. It is? I was skeptical. You were very skeptical. You didn't even want to eat it. Okay. It has a little bit of, like, flavor to it. A little bit of fishiness? But not bad. Like, it... I was just... I just had a bite of the mangrove snapper, so it tastes different than the mangrove. Okay. But it's not, like, bad tasting. Mm. Frank the Tank, let's see what you think. Frank's going to talk us into broiling it and cooking it's it. It's good. It's white and flaky. Is it hot? <laughs> oh, that's hot. <laughs> we, might have to, we might have to wait a second for this to calm to cool down. Mm. After the 150 degree temperature, how was it? No, I want to tell you what, man. The oil is in that. It's great fish. I wouldn't suggest freezing it without a doubt. If you catch it fresh, fresh. It's a, it's a done deal. That's excellent. I think the only way to do it is to do it the day of. Like, yeah, usually we smoke it. We know it's yeah. gonna smoke, but I mean, look at that. No, it's good, white and flaky, but like. But Dakota, can we get your opinion? Yeah, I'll try it. You're from Ohio. I mean, is well, it hot? She just still? had mango snapper for the first time, which yeah. is like yeah. amazing. So. Dude, those folks from Ohio yeah. eat like carp and stuff, don't they? Yeah, that's true. Hey. She has it on a Tennessee sweater though. <laughs> well, hopefully it could be hot, so be careful. Oh, it's good. Well, I'm just saying hot Better as Better than like I thought it would be. Temperature-wise. Not as good as the mangrove. Mmm. Better than that. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Like you would actually eat it for dinner, right? Yeah. I'll eat more. Good. It's like flaky, but yeah, it is different compared to mangrove. All righty, well, it's my turn next. <laughs> it's good. It's moist. <laughs> Get in seconds. We're on? Yep. Okay. First time ever eating Spanish mackerel this way. We cooked it this way because of Franker's recommendation. It's yeah. soft, you know, but... We're just gonna knock a little bit of skin off there, and it does come right off. Ooh, it is hot. Oops, Claire wants a mess. more. Give Claire a piece. Claire wants more. Uh, hot. There you go. Claire is getting more. She said more. What did we marinate it with? Garlic parmesan? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Sweet baby raised garlic parm marinade for about two and a half hours, three hours. A little bit of panko on top. <laughs> Claire's blowing on it, cooling <laughs> it up for me. Spanish mackerel going down. Mama, mama. Mama. Mama, mama. It tastes like mackerel. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you don't like it. It's a little it's, fishy. It's fishy compared to the pure white meat. Did you yeah, have a bite of the mango? It just has oil and stuff in it, though. I know, but like a mutton it's snapper, a grouper. It's, it's just different, you know? It's like, fish. It's supposed to taste like fish, but. I do prefer the snapper better. It's, it's like bad. Wine. Yeah, the snapper didn't taste like anything. But yeah. you can like this one had a little bit of like fishy taste to it, oily. Mm. Yeah. You like it though? Oh, I do. Frank's gonna eat it all. Once or twice a, a year. A couple times here's something different. 
it's like wine or art, right? If you feel like it's good stuff, then yeah. you enjoy it. True. All so. right, well, that wraps it up, you guys. We heard it's good sashimi, too. We didn't try any of sashimi, but maybe that'll be next time. Thank so God, hit try. that like button. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Jump on our email list. You guys have been doing big giveaways on stansfishing.com. We'll put a sign-up link for that. Claire wants more. She is she asking for more. She is sticking her hands out, going more, 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 more. So she likes it. <laughs> That's all right. So we'll see you guys next time. Come on down here to Bud and Mary's Marina Alamara. Check it out. There's ho houseboats at the marina. There's hotel rooms, a couple little houses there to stay. Come on down and go fishing. Andrew had a blast. Dawson had a blast. Franker had fun. Sarah caught a couple finally in the end. I got two. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. Mama. Tell everybody what's happening to your hair tomorrow. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. The mullet will be gone. I'm going to a fancy, what's it called? Oh, Place? Oh, he, he booked yeah. a haircut. I'm going to Blue Bamboo. Blue Bamboo. Apparently it costs twice as much as normal. Yeah. So we're going to see. It's like one of the nicest salons in town. Claire so. absolutely hot, loves hot, this. Hot. She keeps saying hot, more, more, more. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna walk into Blue Bamboo. This is where they do like top end weddings and stuff, like updos, and he's gonna be like, Can you get rid of my mullet, please? Get rid of that. <laughs> all right, it'll be gone, you guys. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs>